Salo da Bible. Je puis First and foremost, to take our offering wherever we're at for those in the auditorium and for those um, watching us online. I believe the um, church's account will be projected on the screens for us. You know, I haven't listened to the interaction this morning between uh, Pastor and uh, Mrs. Sadifisayo. especially the laudable work that is being done by the Honorable Commissioner in Lagos State. You know, one of the things that comes to mind is the fact that when she started out in propagating, promoting quality and good public education, I'm not sure she had the mind of being a commissioner someday. And that tells me something as the fact that there is something for us, each and every one of us, that we have to offer. We don't have to wait till when we are in the limelight. And this morning, as I will receive our offering this morning, it's for us to remember the fact that even our Creator first gave to us a son to redeem the world. And scripture says that it is more honorable to give than to receive. And you know, we always say something in this house that when we call for collections, when we call for offering in this house, it is primarily to support the work of this ministry, to support what we're doing here. And I'm very sure that those of you that have joined us online this morning, particularly on Facebook, you will see the the transition that we've made even as a church in making sure that we're able to reach the world. So I want us to just take a moment to think. I know we are in challenging times. I know it's a period whereby one will think to want to keep the little resource that you have. But I can assure you, thinking deeply and allowing God to minister to you, that you are giving out of that resource to a good work this morning. And also trusting God for a replenishment that comes from Him alone. Scripture says that we should bring tithe into His house. And if, if God had stopped it there if the scripture stopped it there one will have said but it says that when we do so it says that he will open the windows of heaven and he will pour out a blessing 
and you know it is quite fascinating that if it has stopped there one will have said oh blessing fantastic but it also goes further and says that he says i will also rebuke the deal for your sake that means god has everything covered concerning our needs concerning our finances and so this morning i want us to just uh, for those here if you want to package your tithes your offering for those online you want to just transfer to the account we just say a word of prayer this morning but father we do thank you this morning we thank you for your love towards us we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your mercies we thank you because in spite of all that is happening in our world and happening around us you oh god you have us in your care we thank you god for reaching out unto us daily and we thank you god for the hedge of protection that is around us father we thank you god even in spite of all that has been said even concerning this nation concerning this continent you oh god you've been our help and you've been our protector and father this morning we do thank you and we return all the glory back unto you and father we thank you god because out of the that which you have given unto us we are honoring you this morning to give this to support your work in this house for us to be able to take this word this gospel to the hands of the earth for us to be able to reach more to empower more through these teachings through this perspectives being shared showing us revealing to us that there's something that we can do father and we do thank you because your word has given us that assurance and we hold on to your word this morning that you will indeed bless us back and not just only bless us but you will fortify your protection around us by rebuking the devourer for our sake and father this morning we use this as an opportunity to pray for the needy oh god that father in the name of jesus we reach out to them that lord in your own way you will touch them in the name of jesus and you will meet them at the very point of their needs father we thank you we give you praise and glory this morning in jesus name we pray amen please we can go ahead and just um cast our offering um like i said i think the media team will have uh, broadcasted the church's account online for us to do our transfers um, into the church's account we'll just go straight to praying for the nation this morning you know it's always our custom to pray for the nation to pray for our leaders because that is what scripture um has instructed us to do in first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 and verse 2 and it is enlightened self-interest for us to do so you know especially right now that government is working seriously to open up the economy so that at least lives can begin to to get moving and i think in a couple of this week or possibly last week the government also endorsed approved the sub the proposal submitted by the economic sustainable team headed by the vice president um for its implementation which is also going to be supervised for by that committee so i want us to pray and schools have also been um, allowed to open skeletally especially for those in their terminal classes so that they can write their exams i want us to pray for our government this morning I'm, I'm reading from proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. scripture says that without wise leadership a nation falls it says there is safety in men in having many advisors it says without wise leadership a nation falls says but there is safety in having many advisors what we're praying for our nation and for our leaders this morning is for wisdom from heaven above and not just wisdom for them it's also wisdom for those surrounding them those advising them those giving them counsel at this time because there are several counsels that will be going forth this time some self for selfish interest some for the common for the common good if you look if you just um, cast back to the 
real success seminar that we had this morning with Mrs. Adif Sayo. And she said something about the fact that they, they, had, they had to work with agencies, um, private sector. For some, they had to provide um, tabs for them. For some students who do not have um, internet, they had to provide transistor radios for them. And, you know, she said something in, in a, in, while she was speaking. She says that in office, that people think that she's in office to propagate the agenda of the private sector. And she says, no, that this is what she has been doing because she knows that if we neglect a particular section of our nation in not educating them, they now become a menace unto us. And I think we've done that for quite a long time. And I want us to pray this morning for those in authority this morning and by extension also praying for ourselves for wisdom not the wisdom that comes from this world but the wisdom that comes from heaven above the wisdom that only god himself gives because scripture also tells us that those who are in authority they are appointed to be there at this time that god knows about them being in office at this time and he says that god directs their heart whichever way he wills and that is the position that we stand this morning. We may not be in office, we may not be in, 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 in Asorok, but we have authority to dictate, to declare the things that we want done in our nation. And that is why we are lifting up our voices this morning to pray for those in authority, to pray for our president, to pray for his advisors, to pray for the vice president, to pray for his advisors, to pray for the, the legislators, to pray for the state governors, to pray for the judiciary, to pray, to pray for the state legislative councils, to pray for the local government chairman. Because, you know, in actual fact, the local government section is, is really closer to the people even in terms of implementing those things of education, of health care. But Father, we are praying, oh God, this morning for wisdom from our leaders, the wisdom that comes from you alone. We are praying, oh God, for right counsels around them. That those ones will be able to access the right and quality information from the throne of mercy this morning. Not for their sake, but Lord, oh God, for our own sake. For the sake of this nation. For the sake of the things, for the sake of your promises and plans concerning this nation. And we are praying and extending this across the face of the earth. To all nations of the earth. That Lord, in the name of Jesus we're praying, Lord, for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom, oh God, for wisdom, wisdom, wisdom and godly counsel for our leaders and for those in authority over our land this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father, grant them wisdom. Father, grant them wisdom. Father, grant them wisdom. Because wisdom comes from you alone. Wisdom comes from you, oh God. Godly wisdom comes from you. The wisdom that will help us to put our nation aright. The wisdom that will help us to chart this, this, this period going forward. The wisdom that will help us to put the necessary structure and infrastructures in place. Makite suta anda zete legi zozoto vredi manto soto vredo zozoto vredi manda gadusto kize kize to vredo zozoto vredo shita ninde zozoto vredi gedu manda suke tiza to vredo shita ninde zeta. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're still praying. We're still praying. And this prayer point, I'm taking it from Matthew chapter nine, verse thirty-six to thirty-eight. I'm taking this next prayer point from Matthew chapter 9, 36 to 38. It says, when Jesus saw the crowds, it says he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless. And believe, you know, right now I'm very sure quite a lot of people, nations are confused, nations are helpless because of what the pandemic that is raging. It says, like sheep without a shepherd. And then Jesus said, he says to his disciples, he says, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. Say so pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his field. The King James Version says that he will send laborers into the harvest. You know, one would have thought that the people were helpless. Why don't you just go ahead and just give them um, 
let me use the word palliative but no jesus christ says pray to god that he will send forth laborers or workers into this harvest i you know i will continue i'll just continue to use uh, mr Diffsell's chat this morning as a point of reference she's i believe she's been prepared for such a time as this and from what she's discussed with us this morning the efforts that she's been making i believe she is a laborer that has been sent forth into the harvest for such a time as this i want us to pray this morning that father even in spite of the situation in the, in this nation that lord we are praying that lord for for laborers into the harvest laborers into our educational sector laborers into our health systems laborers even into the civil service laborers into the financial sector laborers into business into 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 media laborers into 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 entertainment laborers into into families mento soto bra and the seta labra dos takite soto vrede mata sike tu soto vrede os telege zozoto manda zete vredu zoto vradas talike to zoto labras that understand your mindset labras that understand your will labras that understand your purpose labras that are 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 selfless labras that want the good of this nation father we are calling them forth to be sent forth into this harvest this morning in the name of jesus father across the different mountain of influence in this nation lord we are calling for we are praying for for laborers 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 that incorruptible seed even across every mountain of influence in our nation laborers that will bring your kingdom to bear laborers that will uphold righteousness and justice laborers that will that that, that will that that will do the right thing laborers that will be selfless father we are praying forth this morning we are praying forth this morning we are praying forth this morning mata kite soto ra anda sike to soto ra dosta lige zato ra dasta kite zeta ya malige zoto ra anda sete gedusto kise to ve de gedi ninta sota a de gedusto to ve dosta lige zozo to ve de mante site ve dosta ninke tu sata ya makise te ve dosto lige zozo to ve dosta ninte zete and in rounding up the prayer this morning, I'm reading from Revelation chapter 22. I'm praying for healing, healing across our land. Revelation chapter 22, verse 1 to 2 says, Then the angel showed me a river with the water of life, clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. It says it flowed down the center of the main street. On each side of the river grew a tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, with a fresh crop each month it says the leaves were used for medicine to heal the nation i want us to pray this morning even for our nation i want us to pray even for those in isolation centers those who are self-treating themselves at home that father we are praying for healing across our nation we're praying for healing in 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 in, in the different isolation centers we're praying for healing even in our homes healing even uh, uh, upon our streets in the name of jesus marketosa and the tikato soto vrados takite soto lebra and desato malige zege dusto kize tege dize to vrados takite zeze to vredesh tenente zozo to vredi manda soto vrados takite so soto vredosh talige zeze taya father we thank you beg god we pray this morning that you will give our leaders wisdom and discernment you will grant them strength you will keep them healthy and safe and rested so that they can guide us through this time we pray that you will give our government leaders wisdom on how to stop the virus and stabilize our economy we pray oh god that you will give our spiritual leaders your discernment on how to meet people's needs as they glorify your name and encourage the church we pray that you will give our medical leaders insight into how to stop the virus strengthen their resolve and honor and honor their hard work in creating a treatment for COVID-19. Give our civic leaders inspiration, courage, joy, and strength to meet the needs of their communities. And Father, we pray this morning that you will help us as leaders in our own communities to display courage, hope, generosity, and kindness. For all this we pray and ask for in Jesus' name. Amen. We're switching online to uh, Sister Lola.
so that she can lead us in prayer for the church. We are going to continue to practice this. Sister Lala, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Can we go? We have your slides up. Can you see us? Can you see the slides? Yes, I can. Okay, good morning, good. church. Good morning, everybody listening all over the world. We are praying for the church this morning. The church, like I have, or like we all know, is not a place. It's not a location. It's not a building. It's each and every one of us. It's a body. Part of us, we are the head. Some is the hand. Some is the leg. So the church is